What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to bounce down your freshly mixed beat to a WAV file. So if you're looking to send it off to a mastering engineer or you're looking to master it yourself in another session, I'm going to show you how to just quickly bounce it down so that you just got that one WAV file. So I've got this beat here that I made called Wishing on a Star. I'll just quickly play it to you. So yeah, you get the idea of the beat. So I just sampled the Beyonce a cappella. I just pitched it down, chopped it up in the EXS24 sampler. If you don't know how to do that, check out my videos from before on how to chop samples and throw it in the EXS24. Beat's been mixed, it's peaking around. Peaking around minus two. Um, you want it, you normally, uh, I love it peaking a little bit less than that, maybe minus three, minus six, something between that. So it doesn't really matter too much, do you know what I mean? But just as long as you ain't going into the red, then you should be okay. So this is ready to, to bounce. So what you want to do is press Command and B, and it, a box will come up giving the option of how you want to save the file. You don't want to do it MP3. You want to do PCM, which is a WAV file format, 24 bits, 44.1. Depending on what your session is, this should be fine as it is. Keep it in real time because when it's in real time, you can hear the beat playing or the song playing. And if there's anything that's not right in there, you can just quickly pick it up and just cancel it and sort out the, the mistakes or whatever it is you need to tweak. Add to project. So adding this to your project means that it's going to go into the folder of your actual project. So that, that would make sense. Um, you can you can add it to iTunes, but you don't really need to if you're going to be mastering it in a different session. I like to take normalize off. I don't want it normalized. I don't want any form of comp compression or limiting to be happening to the peaks while while it's bouncing down because that is what you're going to be doing in the next session. Going back, I've got to say, you need to make sure your locators are on. So what I like to do with my locators is have a bit of space just before the beat comes in or the song comes in so it doesn't start straight away. Got a little gap there and the same for the right side locators just in case you've got some reverb. So you see that's got a long reverb tail. So I want I don't want to just cut it off dead at that point. I wanna have the tail so I leave room, some space for that to be heard. So going back, command and B. Let's check the wave file, you don't want an MP3 file unless that's spe a specific that you're and it, the only time you want MP3 is if you're sending it off quickly to someone through email. Um, but most time you want that wave file. Um, like I said, add it to project, put it in real time, take normalize off, and then hit OK. Name your file. So this one was a J1 low ski type B, which is on a star. Just name it as whatever you want to name it. Hit bounce. Hit bounce, and then your file will be in the folder that you saved it to. So for me, it will be in the J1 folder, and then click, and, click on bounces, and it will be in your bounces folder. Ready to send off to your mastering engineer or ready for you to put into your next mastering session in Logic. So I hope this video has helped. If it has, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the no notification bell as well so you know anytime I put up a new video. And make sure you hit me up on Instagram as well. I'm always dropping like little tips and tricks that I don't always put on YouTube because it just takes too long for just a small clip, you know what I mean? So yeah, hit me up on Instagram. Hope this video has helped. As per usual, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Music is life. Peace.